All right, I'm gonna give you the, the hottest coins in the game right now in RWA, in my humble opinion. Hi, my name is Samuel James Price, the Crypto Lifer. Today, I wanna give you the top 10 RWA plays that I believe in this nasty dump for Bitcoin, in this pullback in this market, we must find opportunity because we are the opportunity. And every single day, there's opportunity in this market. Even if we DCA and these go back down to $1 and we get it again and it becomes a, you know, a couple week or month process to, to build the bag, I still believe today is a beautiful opportunity. So without further ado, I want to break down the top five RWA coins that I believe are worth picking up right now in this dip. And here's the number one I want to talk about is Relio Network. Why do I like Relio Network? Well, let's break it down and just, you know, give it a brief description. That's all you even need to know. But it's a Relio as a platform describes itself as an end-to-end -end blockchain-based SaaS platform for issuance, investment, and lifecycle management of digital securities and crypto assets. It aims to combine access to 100% on-chain decentralization P2P exchange with the features of an issuance investment platform in order to merge enterprise-grade blockchain and cryptocurrency solutions with institutional quality investments. I just love it. I think this thing speaks to me. Uh, I believe they can pull off what they do. And Relo has been out there with a very small, I can't believe the market cap's as small as it is. And But 8% of the supply out, I could see, you know, a little bit of, you know, okay. But the max supply is, 75 million the total supply 55 million as we speak right now that's a very small right you got six million out right now just not you know not too bad right so i really like Relio network as something i i own in my portfolio i want to make it clear and i'll be chipping away and, and grabbing a little bit more here in these dips Relio network number two personally own and have added to my portfolio and i really am looking at closely is gold finch gfi i saw when it first came out it ripped beautifully it's up huge right now still from when it first came out just a few weeks back and people frenzied for it 105 million dollar market cap 10 times bigger than the market cap of Relio. that's why i really like where Relio's sitting right now because you don't just get that opportunity for that 11 but i still like where this is at i believe almost all these coins will get to a billion and more i could see this thing easily getting up into the two, three, four, five billion dollar range and, you know, gets to one billion, it's a 10 X, possibly a 30, 40, maybe even a 50 X out of this coin. Some say a hundred. I don't know if I'd go that far. And look, it's on Coinbase. It's on gate, Bing X, Mex. It's everywhere you want to be right you know? Um, But let's take a look at it. Goldfinch is a global credit protocol that offers sustainable, high quality, stable coin yields that are generated by real world economic activity, shelter from DeFi's volatility. It's an Ethereum token that governs Goldfinch which ultimately aims to make DeFi lending more accessible by enabling loans, by enabling loans that can both be used both on and off chain collateral. So like, I don't know, it's really combining the real world with what we have now. And if you take a look at the website right off the bat, I like the way the website looks. I like the colors they choose, right? But right now, look at this. I mean, it's a pretty big deal. Real yields from real companies, really. Stop worrying about crypto money games. Start lending your USDC to real businesses worldwide. 7% senior pool, USDC APY. You know what I'm saying? So explore Goldfinch's deals. Yields come from real-world lending and investments are collateralized off-chain, which makes them distinctly different from a highly volatile DeFi lending you may be familiar with. Look, LATAM sustainability, African innovation, emerging Southeast Asia, and just invest in the world. So, I, I mean, this is insane. We've never seen anything like this, and this is pretty big. So anyway, I just think, you know, you may want to look at this. You may want to deep dive GFI. It's got what's going on for it. It's hot. It's amazing. The third coin that I believe is amazing when it comes to real world assets. Again, another coin that I personally hold in my portfolio is Token Fi. Now, Token Fi sitting now, all these are be a hundred market cap and below, which I find a sweet spot for when I'm looking for my 50, 30x coin sitting there. You know what I mean? Token Fi is hot. It's got a BNB smart contract, so you can access it there, and Ethereum, so you can get it on PancakeSwap, which I find amazing, which is something I like from a lot of coins, because if, if, if the ETH fees get high, we still have that decentralized component. That's important for TokenFi. I like that. That's something I always look for when I'm looking for the space. Look, PancakeSwap, baby, on the V2. It's also on Mexi. It's also on BingX. It's also on CoinX. It's also on Gate.io. It's also on KuCoin. It's also on Bybit. The thing is out there on the decentralized DEXs as well, all right? Um, look at this. Floki and TokenFi developer proposed game-changing upgrade. Interesting, you know, just weird. 
that they're, it's combining forces. But TokenFi aims to simplify the crypto and asset tokenization process and eventually become the foremost tokenization platform in the world. The tokenization industry is projected to be a $16 trillion industry by the year 2030. That's insane. BlackRock, the world's biggest institutional investor with $10 trillion of assets under management, strongly believes in the industry's potential, which they call the next evolution in markets. Of course. Think about it. People want to make money. If you have to buy and sell you know, stocks right now, there's that three-day wait period. Then there's the SWIFT system. There's just a lot of paperwork in the middle. You have to, you know, basically, the security has to be, you know, uh, you have to buy and sell the security. They have to basically cross-reference whether the security was, you know, backed by the banks, and they have to go through all the different paperwork, and it's just a pain. If they can tokenize everything, we would have real world real instant transaction, right? The money to the thing, to the blockchain instantly, right? Real time. That's how it should be. Your paycheck should be real time. I was saying this the other day. You should see your paycheck acquire every second. You should put in your 40 hours and whenever you're at work, you should always see your paycheck. By the end of the day, you should have what you made that day sent to you immediately. And everything should be on chain. The second Friday ends, you already have your money. You don't have to wait every single Friday to get your paycheck. That is so cro -Magnon. That is so Neanderthal. Like, let's get into, we already have the technology, let's put, we're being held back by governments and, you know what I mean, laws and stuff like that, but once this really goes forward, it's going to be a big deal, but TokenFi is launched by the highly experienced and connected Floki team that launched a popular Floki token that went to an all-time high valuation of $3.5 billion. They will be leveraging the same experience to make TokenFi the number one token high platform in the industry. So, they took a coin with nothing, no real asset, right, no real, you know, just Floki, and they made it pretty big. So what can they can do with a coin that actually has a use case? And to me, that gets me going. That gets me excited. TokenFi, the number three coin that I personally hold and believe it's worth grabbing on this dip. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. None of these coins and things that I talk about should be taken as financial advice. It's completely up to you, all right? Just something to think about. All-time low on October 3rd. It's up 18,000. But again, nobody barely got it that low. Nobody knew about it back then. But it's crazy that you could have really snatched it up at that very low price and rode it all the way up to $12. That's pretty insane. I still see, I mean, at a $90 million market cap, a billion, I still see a 10X safely, you know, and into the, you know, I could see way more. Now, 10% of the supply is out. These are some things that I, I do focus on, and it's got a $10 billion max supply. But I've seen Gala do that in the last rally. It went from a bot, you know, a, a couple pennies all the way to 70 or more. And it had, it definitely didn't have a lot of the supply. So it can happen. Um, and, you know, don't be afraid of that. But it's definitely something that we look at. All right. Token Phi. My fourth coin is Aerodrome Finance. All right. Aerodrome Finance. And, you know, this is connected to the real world in a way because you got Coinbase Ventures back in this puppy. And that's a big deal. It's a next generation AMA designed to serve as base's central liquidity hub, combining a powerful liquidity incentive engine Vault lock governance model and friendly user experience. It inherits the latest features from Velodrome V2. And so I just believe Aerodrome is something you want to have on your radar. It's connected. It's a big deal. And it just, over time, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really probably merge. And it's the central trading and liquidity marketplace on base. I believe base eventually gets into the real world asset. I believe they eventually start bringing in tokenization. And I believe if having Aerodrome is a connection to that. Yes, I'm foreshadowing a little bit. I'm kind of, you know, projecting into the future, but it makes sense. It designs to reward participants that enable the sustained growth of the protocol, all right? I just really like what it does for traders, liquidity providers, protocols, and the voters. So Aerodrome, get in today. Uh, and I just, you know, uh, they have an onboard guy. They have a swap. They have liquidity. I started buying Aerodrome around 39 cents. It's still sitting beautifully, beautifully at a $187 level. A dollar eighty-seven. Sorry, one dollar and eighty-seven cents. But this thing is hot. It's got a base address. Base is also another new narrative that's really a big deal. And so you kind of cover a lot of stones with just this one coin. You get automated market making, like Cake blew up. Cake was sixty cents and went to forty-four dollars. I remember watching Cake's market cap get to six billion dollars. That's easy for one of these. I could easily see this at ten billion dollars. I really can. I know you think I'm talking about face because I own the coin, but I'm just saying I could see Aerodrome at $10 billion. Right now, it's only at a $300 million market cap. It's still a steal right now, and this thing was just like $0.03. Cents. I got it at $0.40, cents and it was already up at 10x or $0.39, cents, something like that. So pay attention to this. I would have it on my radar. Again, I have it in my portfolio. Almost none of these coins I don't own. So I own every single coin so far that I've talked about. I think this is something you definitely want to pay attention to. This is hot, all right? 
but the last real world asset coin that I believe could do numbers. Now, this one is actually kind of more of a, but it's more of a high risk for sure. But it's something that we got into earlier and still is doing pretty well. And I hold this coin as well. R trade, ATR. Now we got into two and a half cents and it boomed up and we had to sell it when it went up to nine, seven. We took our gains, right? But I got back in, built a moon bag and I did leave it to go. This one, I did build a moon bag because I made so money. I put seven grand and it went up so fast. I figured I had to take some profits and then I put my money back in. So much of the circulating supply is out already, 84%. You gotta love that. 1.8 billion, right? Is that true? Yeah, 1.8 billion in the supply there. Fully diluted, 67 million. You're sitting at 56 million. I believe this thing could do numbers. If you look at it, right? Look at this. It's the first marketplace for real world assets powered by Solana. I mean, it's powered by Solana, right? It's, I know that's basic, but all, that's all I need really to kind of make sense of what's happening here. So I like what I'm seeing for our trade. We already got in super early. It also gets some love from some bigger YouTubers. That, so it, we know that it can get promotion. We know that it can get some love. It did get in early at some pre-sales. People have sold it off. I get that. That makes it a little more high risk. But over time, I believe this thing can do numbers. And if the real world asset class really gets as big as it, as it can, this thing could just completely explode. So those are five of the hottest coins that I personally own inside of the real world asset space that I believe could do numbers. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. All right. And come back for more so you can find out uh, what other coins that I talk about and how in depth I like to bring them to you and just show you kind of what I'm holding in my portfolio as well. I hold every single one of these coins that I talked about. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. You can find out when I post my next video. Remember, if you came to the channel, then you're already doing the right thing. Crypto is life.